The next bout of the evening is a super bantamweight contest over six rounds between Isaac Kakra from the Atokwashi Boxing Gym and Emmanuel Ashite from the Bridge Boxing Gymnasium. Once again, let me acknowledge the presence of Mr. Sefa Stechi, the elder brother of the CEO of IMAX Boxing Promotions and IMAX Media is here with us and our first lady, our mother and the wife of Mr. Maxwell Techi, Madam Diana Techi. She's also here with us. We we'll thank her so much. Let me also acknowledge from Renault. We have the man himself, Chris Atipo. Where is Chris? Where is Chris Atipo? Chris, can I see you by hand? Okay, Chris, thank you very much for coming and your team. Very soon you join us in the ring. Let me also acknowledge these very important personalities from the Ghana Armed Forces. We have Major Agalga Dixon, Army Sports Officer. Mr. Agalga, can we see you? Major Agalga, thank you very much for coming. We also have Lieutenant Colonel Maxwell Go, is Army Headquarters Logistics Physical Trainer. Where is he? Where is he? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And the man I will continue to celebrate and it's the man who gave us all the boxers you see them in the Ghana Armed Forces. And the man is here. It's no other person than Colonel Richard Akoto. Richard, Mr. Akoto, can we see you standing? Let's see you, Mr. Akoto. Oh, very well. Thank you very much. It's the man who has drafted all the boxers into Ghana Armed Forces. And we well, thank you. Colonel Rafat Awodu, Commander Training Officer. Where is he? Thank you so much, sir, for coming. We appreciate you. So now we are ready for the next bout of the evening. The three judges are T.A. Brown, Nikwe Kote, and Daniel Ablomete. Let's welcome the boxer, fighting out from the blue corner, Emmanuel Ashite. Yakuman, Mr. Yakuman. Yakuman, Mr. Mawui. Bantamweight context scheduled for six rounds between Isaac Kakraba from Atokwashi taking on Emmanuel Ashite from Bridge Gym. A couple of minutes ago, Kan Nikwe won his bout against Isaac Aite, which was a championship bout. Where Kan Nikwe won the bout in a unanimous point decision with all three judges going in favor for Kan Nikwe. So Kan Nikwe became, Kan, Kan Nikwe is now the super bantamweight champion. But next on the card, a super bantamweight contest. Isaac Kakraba from Ato Kwashi will be taking on Bridge Gym's own Emmanuel Ashite. And as we watch closely, the boxers making their way into the ring. Boxers are in the ring, and now we are wait 
for the official introduction from Mohammed Amin Lamte. Well, listen, Jeremy, we are ready for our bout number seven. After this, we have two more about to the main event of the evening between Ghana Armed Forces and Charles Cotty Boxing Foundation. Let me acknowledge the presence of a very important personality, the former president of Ghana Boxing Ring Officials Association, Mr. Atta Eddie Papo is here with us. Atta Eddie, can we see you standing on your feet for us to put hands together for you? One of the international ring officials with international status. This is the man who has been to the United States, UK, and across the globe to officiate fights. Atta Eddie Papo, thank you very much for coming. And this is a super bantamweight contest over six rounds. The three judges are T.A. Brown, Nico Kote, and Daniel Ablomete. Now we're introducing the box fighting from the blue corner under uh, the tutelage of Suleiman Amate from the Bridge Boxing Gymnasium. And this evening, this is the boxer who came to the ring with a weight of 124.5 pounds. And this is the boxer who is making his first appearance on professional boxing platform is a debut hunt. Presenting to you the boxer, Emmanuel Ashite. Crossing over to the red corner from the Atokwashi Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of Akai Nete. He came to the ring with a weight of 123.7 pounds. And this is another boxer who is making his first appearance on the professional platform. It's a debutant presenting to you the boxer, Izzy Kakraba. And the man in charge of this fight is Richard Garte. Good evening, guys. There is a seizure. Be there to obey my commands at all times. Fight hard and fight. Keep touch gloves. Good luck. Last set of instructions are uh, given by Richard Gatti, and we're ready to go into action in this Super Bantamweight contest. This is scheduled for six rounds at Tokwashi Boxing Gym and uh, the British Boxing Gym. Round are going head to head. One. Bell goes for the first round. Kakraba in the white trunks with the Ghana flag colors on the side. Emmanuel Ashiti came into the ring looking very, very angry. Looks like he would want to end the fight and end it as quickly as possible. Kakraba takes the fight to him and he goes in for the first clinch. an exchange and it looks like these two boxers have a course to settle yeah very explosive in the ring exactly and there they go in once again it's virtually a give and take affair And then he goes in for the clinch again. Quite an explosive bout. This is just the first round. But clearly both boxers have a score to settle. They opened up nicely. They opened up with a lot of uh, eagerness seem to be simmering down now. Good timed one there. 
Ashite goes in for the uh, clinch. Looks like he's taking a lot of the punishment. He's yet to show exactly what he's made of, and then he takes double punishment, triple punishment. Tries to come back, but a little bit of a push. That's a firm caution there from uh, referee Gatti. Solid punches being delivered there. Was that a low blow? Oh, the boxer seems to be complaining about the fact that the blow was quite low. Doctor has been called to ringside. Indications are that he's good to go. And so we will continue. But again, there will be another caution from referee Gatti. Boxers will go at it again. Solid exchange of punches there. It's a give and take affair. No inch given, no inch taken. Isaac Takraba and Emmanuel Ashiti. The exchanges have been rich. It's been laden with a lot of uh, power. It's a give and take affair. And Kakraba was uh, given a caution for a low blow. That was the low blow. But then when they opened up again, they went at it. Give and take. Trading punches like nobody's business. Here we go, round two. Oh, Prince, that was some way to end that round between Emmanuel Ashute and Isaac Kakraba. And they start of the second round strong there. Isaac Kakraba fighting from the Atukwashi, the boxer with the red gloves. And Emmanuel Ashute, the boxer, fighting from Great Gym. Is the boxer with a black gloves. Right hand land for Isaac Kakraba. Emmanuel took that wall and he gets in for the clean swiftly. Isaac is chasing Emmanuel and Emmanuel gets in for the clinch. Right hand land for Isaac and there goes Two. down Emmanuel Ashton. Complaining to the referee, but the referee scores that as a knockdown. No, but that was a direct one. Exactly. I mean, it hit him, it caught him, you know, fair and square in the face. Yeah. Nothing he could do about it, but the tactic he has employed shows that Kakraba would have a field day. Mm. Looks more and like target practice now. Exactly, and there he goes again, and uh, Emmanuel also tries to trade with him, and there he goes down. But this time around, it's not a knockdown. Referee rules that out as a knockdown. And he gets to Isaac Akraba and tells him that no pushing. Kakraba definitely is in for the kill. I'm sure he would want to go home very early today. Puts him in the corner and then the target practice continues. Mm. Mm. It's about four combinations from Isaac Akraba. Another one, another right hand, and they go one, down Imano Ashute. Two, the punches were too much on Imano. He has nothing to do than to just go down, and that is it. That is it. Spot on from you, Prince. You said it. Isaac Akraba. Would like to finish up the fight early. 
DJ D Black. These are the kind of killer instincts, Prince, you've been always talking about. That's what, what, that's what defines the sport. It is your accuracy with the punches. And mm. again, clear target practice. Anytime Ashite went in, he left his guard at home. Exactly. And so for Kaka, there you go. Wow. That was another wow. big one. Awesome. And he was almost always dead on target. Yeah, yeah. And he, anytime he lands his right, it connects. His right connects every time he lands. I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure. Emmanuel wanted to trade, but you see, look at our right again. Emmanuel wants to trade, but forgetting that Isaac Kakraba's right hand is a very, very swift one. And look, right hand, he used the left, he used the left, then he used the right. He has that orthodox hand, so he always use his left to probe, then he goes in with the right hand. And that was doing damage all through. For Emmanuel, switching over. Thank you very to much. So we are done with another interesting bout. That is bout number seven. We are left with three more bouts to go. Two more before the main event of the night. And this was Super Bantam with contest that ended prematurely. And we have the verdict. Shall we please put our hands together for the two boxes? So we have the verdict here. Ladies and gentlemen, watching this, you're watching this live on Max TV, the best TV station when it comes to sports, entertainment, and more. We are coming your way live from the Bukon Boxing Arena. Today is night number 20 of the ongoing irresistible Ghana Professional Boxing League. Now the verdict in round number two. 2 minutes 23 seconds by a technical knockout presenting to you the boxer who made his debut today as a professional boxer, one of the most experienced boxers at amateur level, presenting to you from the Atokwashi Boxing Gymnasium here in Accra, Izzy Kakraba. Now, thank you very much, Isaac. Isaac. Isaac, Tete, of any more Oh, me, me no na me she chwana ka. Eh, nke she da ba, nko chi se se ko fa me prepare me wadan. O o da ni moshi. Me da ni moshi, nda le she wadan che. Me me ni na ke mo fi mo wia ka, but no no e ye for wadan che. Ni amate o che je me bi ane ni over professional ne. Me ni sanu wo ko ko hiye ka habo. Ah. I am a division super bantank, a great bantam. Tough fighters come here, they are a big fan of the game. I am ready for war. Hey, hey, you are ready for war. Uh, can you know, Lady National Super Bantam World Champion, I know you know, a winning title in you. Oh, Manele. Oh, Manele. Jele, Jele, Crown Tower. Me, Tower. Sir, get gosh. I mean, you don't need to tell me. Hey. No fear, I see. Come on, okay. Mokoma, okay. the moment, send like a mini mini yoka. I mini joke, but I tell me you too. I have mini tab here. Me to my challenge. Hey, a can't turn a challenge. Oh, yeah, no, me, it won't turn a challenge. If I let 60, you go go down. 60. What's the best? I don't know if I pass them. No, square A, you own a mere Ovaile. What's the lay you go? Oh, yeah, sure. What's the lay? Okay, thank you very much. Tell it, Mini Yomo Nagu Yokahawa. Many Kwebo Kajasia, Mini Yomo Yokahami. Me, that Mofia Moshi, me, I'm a Babian number supporting Kamene, many Yoshi, I'm fair. You will come a fan, coach, you see, I'm a fan. Me, that I'm a fan. You might join Mofia. Thank you very much, Jima. Oh, lose the chin like a baby shock, a miniba. I'm too much challenge, Leco. Oh, what challenge, Leco? Oh, tower refight. Maybe. The film now, I feel. Eh, what kind of no banano? no. Eh, my man, no. Yo, thank you very much. So, as you tell, he says that he wants to refight.